Enteritis. Definition. Enteritis is inflammation of the small intestine. Types include infectious enteritis, caused by bacteria or viruses, and radiation enteritis, caused by bacteria or viruses, and radiation enteritis, which occurs as a result of radiation therapy. Enteritis may also include gastritis, where inflammation affects the stomach or, in some cases, colitis, which involves inflammation of the large intestine. Enteritis is inflammation of the small intestine. It is most commonly caused by food or drink contaminated with pathogenic microbes, such as serratia, but may have other causes such as NSAIDs, cocaine, radiation therapy as well as autoimmune conditions like Crohn's disease and Coelia disease. Symptoms include abdominal pain, cramping, diarrhea, dehydration, and fever. Duodenitis, jejunitis, and ileitis are subtypes of enterites which are only localized to a specific part of the small intestine. Inflammation of both the stomach and small intestine is referred to as gastroenteritis. Condition Organ Gastritis Stomach Gastroenteritis Stomach and small intestine Colitis Large intestine Enterocolitis large and small intestine types there are several types of enteritis and they each have different causes infectious enteritis the most common form of enteritis is infectious enteritis due to bacteria viruses and parasites viruses are most often the cause of infectious enteritis norovirus is the most common virus affecting adults in children the culprit is most often rotavirus most people call viral enteritis, or gastroenteritis, a stomach, bug, or stomach, flu. Not to be confused with seasonal flu caused by influenza virus. Bacteria that can cause enteritis include Salmonella, Shigella, and E. coli. Parasites include Giardia and Cryptosporidium. Food and drink contamination may occur because of Poor hygiene Improper food handling Improper cooking, raw poultry and meat, raw shellfish, unpasteurized milk, undercooked meat and eggs, inflammatory enteritis. Inflammatory enteritis can be primary or secondary. The primary version is due to a disease that directly causes the inflammation. An example is Crohn's disease. Secondary inflammatory enteritis results from the treatment of some other disease. Examples include chemotherapy and radiation enteritis. Ischemic enteritis. Ischemic enteritis is the result of decreased blood flow to the small intestine. Radiation enteritis. Radiation enteritis may occur as a result of radiation therapy. Radiation not only kills cancer cells, but healthy cells too, including the cells in the mouth, stomach, and bubble. Radiation can lead to inflammation that may last for several weeks after treatment. Causes Autoimmune diseases Crohn's disease, also known as regional enterites, it can occur along any surface of the gastrointestinal tract. In 40% of cases it is limited to the small intestine. Coeliac disease, caused by an autoimmune reaction to gluten by genetically predisposed individuals. Eosinophilic enteropathy slash allergy A condition where eosinophils build up in the gastrointestinal tract and blood vessels, leading to polyp formation, necrosis, inflammation, and ulcers. It is most commonly seen in patients with a history of atopy, however is overall relatively uncommon. Infectious enterites 90% of cases of infectious enterites are caused by four pathogens, norovirus, rotavirus, campylobacter, and salmonella. Other common causes of infectious enterites include bacteria such as Shigella and E. coli, as well as viruses such as adenovirus, astrovirus, and calicivirus. Other less common pathogens include Bacillus cereus, Clostridium perfringens, Clostridium difficile and Staphylococcus aureus. Vascular disease. Ischemic enterites is compared to ischemic colitis due to the highly vascularized nature of the small intestine, allowing for sufficient blood flow in most situations. 
it develops due to circulatory shock of mesenteric vessels in the absence of major vessel occlusion, often associated with an underlying condition such as hypertension, arrhythmia, or diabetes. Thus it has been considered to be associated with atherosclerosis. Radiation Entrethes Inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract is common after treatment with radiation therapy to the abdomen or pelvis. It is classified as early if it manifests within the first three months, and delayed if it manifests three months after treatment. Early radiation entrethes is caused by cell death of the crypt epithelium and subsequent mucosal inflammation, however usually subsides after the course of radiation therapy is completed. Delayed radiation entrethes is a chronic disease which has a complex pathogenesis involving changes in the majority of the intestinal wall. Pathophysiology Sign and Symptoms Sign and symptoms of enteritis may include Abdominal pain or cramps Diarrhea Nausea and vomiting Loss of appetite Bleeding or mucus-like discharge from the rectum Fever Diagnosis A medical history, physical examination, and tests such as blood counts, stool cultures, CT scans, MRIs, PCRs, colonoscopies and upper endoscopies may be used in order to perform a differential diagnosis. A biopsy may be required to obtain a sample for histopathology. Management Rehydration The primary treatment of enteritis in both children and adults is rehydration. This is preferably achieved by drinking rehydration solution, although intravenous delivery may be required if there is a decreased level of consciousness or if dehydration is severe. Dietary. It is recommended that breastfed infants continue to be nursed in the usual fashion, and that formula fed infants continue their formula immediately after rehydration with oat. Some probiotics have been shown to be beneficial in reducing both the duration of illness and the frequency of stools. Antiemetics. Ondansacrin. Metoclopramide. Dimenhydrinate. Antibiotics. Macrolide such as azithromycin, fluoroquinolone, ciprofloxacin, norfloxacin, ofloxacin, metronidazole, vancomycin, tinidazole, antimotility agent, loperamide, an opioid analogue, is commonly used for the symptomatic treatment of diarrhea. Bismuth subsalicylate, an insoluble complex of trivalent bismuth and salicylate, can be used in mild to moderate cases. Nursing management. Nursing assessment. Assist stool characteristics. History of bubble patterns and the onset of diarrheal stools, with details on number and type of stools per day, suggest terms to describe the color and odor of stools to assist the caregiver with descriptions. Assist for wanting. Inquire about recent nausea and wanting. Assist for presence of illness. Ask about fever and other signs of illness in the client and signs of illness in any other family members. Physical examination. The physical exam of the client includes observation of skin turga and condition, including excoriated diaper area, temperature, anterior fontanelle, apical pulse rate, stools, irritability, lethargy, wanting, urine, lips and mucous membranes of the mouth, eyes, and any notable physical signs. Nursing diagnosis. Acute abdominal pain. Diarrhea. Hyperthermia. Risk for fluid volume deficit. Imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements. Anxiety. Deficient knowledge. Nursing care planning and goals. Control of diarrhea. Minimize the risk for infection. Maintain good skin condition. Improve hydration and nutritional intake. Eliminate the risk of infection transmission. Nursing interventions. Plan care to allow uninterrupted rest periods for the patient. If the patient is nauseated, advise him to avoid quick movements, which can increase the severity of nausea. If the patient can tolerate oral fluids, replace lost fluids and electrolytes with broth, ginger, ale, and lemonade, as tolerated. If dehydration occurs, 
administer oral and IV fluids as ordered. To ease anal irritation caused by diarrhea, clean the area carefully and apply repellent cream, such as petroleum jelly. Wash hand thoroughly after giving care to avoid spreading of infection, and use standard precaution whenever handling vomitus or stools. Monitor the patient's fluids status carefully. Assess vital signs at least every 4 hours, weigh him daily, and record intake and output. Teach the patient about gastroenteritis, describing its symptoms and varied causes. Teach the patient the proper preventive measures. Evaluation Goals are met as evidenced by Control of diarrhea Minimized risk for infection Maintain good skin condition Improved hydration and nutritional intake Satisfied sucking needs in the infant Eliminated risk of infection transmission Complications Dehydration is a potential complication. It may cause kidney and urinary problems, as well as heart problems. It is particularly dangerous in infants and young children, older adults, and those with chronic illnesses. Symptoms of dehydration may include Excessive thirst Urinating less frequently or in lower amounts Dark urine Fatigue Weakness Lethargy Dizziness Sunken eyes Lack of tears Dry mouth Prevention Improving hygiene Wash hands with soap and water regularly Wash hands after using the bathroom Wash hands before and after preparing meals and drinks Wash hands before eating Use hand wipes and hand sanitizer if running water is not available Avoid drinking from outdoor wells and other unsafe water sources Food preparation tips Clean kitchen surfaces, utensils and cooking devices thoroughly. Keep different types of foods separate, such as chicken and other raw produce. Cooking tips. Cook all foods at a correct and safe temperature according to the recipe. Avoid undercooking chicken, fish, and eggs. Food storage tips. Be aware of expiration dates and dispose of any expired items. Dispose of any spoiled or questionable food items. Refrigerate leftovers promptly. Do not leave food out in the sun. Travel tips. Avoid drinking from outdoor wells and other unsafe water sources without first boiling the water. Drink properly sealed bottled water. Choose restaurants and street food where it is possible to observe people preparing the food. Select restaurants and street food vendors that are well attended, especially by local people. Additional tips. Avoid smoking and excessive alcohol use. Use caution with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, aspirin, and oral steroids that may inflame the digestive system. Talk to a doctor about the potential side effects of certain medications and radiation treatment. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.